When I was 18, instead of going directly to college, I packed my bags and moved to Tokyo to study at a language school for a year. This was also the first time that I began to keep a sketchbook. Before moving to Japan, I mainly drew on loose leaf and I never ever used watercolor. I also rarely drew on site, but in Japan, I would carry my sketchbook everywhere and sketch what I saw. I also used it as a way to practice writing, and as time went on, my writing got better and better. This experience inspired me to keep a sketchbook more regularly, so that's what I did after moving back to the States, and also after moving to Denmark. And in 2017, I went back to Japan for a visit. This time I went on holiday with my husband and it was his first time meeting my host families. So we had a lovely vacation together. I drew him a little bit weird though. On my last trip to Japan in 2019, I really wanted to shake things up a bit. And I collected uh, stamps and calligraphies from every temple I visited. And I also would sit and sketch these temples. And it was really the first time that I felt that I could capture this architecture on site. Um, earlier, I hadn't drawn many shrines or temples because the architecture was so complex. I felt like I couldn't really capture that. So I was really proud of that. And um, this ended up getting published online at Board Panda. So that was really awesome. I really love these sketchbooks. I love flipping through them. I love seeing the different memories I have. Um, and I hope that seeing these inspires you too.